Hello, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. If you are new here, hi, my name is Carrie. I am a TV host and I live in Kansas City, Missouri. I'm coming to you today, not from Kansas City, Missouri. I am currently in Phoenix, Arizona, Scottsdale area for a little weekend getaway with my college best friend, Jamie. Jamie and I lived together for two years in college and we were thick as thieves. She was at my wedding, like she's just like my ride or die girl. And since college, we I've moved a lot and she still kind of lives in the Milwaukee area and it just is harder for us to get together as you get older and have lives and Milwaukee is three hours from my hometown so when I go to my hometown to visit my family it's a hike for me to go to Milwaukee if I want to visit her or it's a hike for her to come up and visit me so it's been tough but we uh, have purposely picked this weekend to have a little girls weekend and it's been really fun so far we got in yesterday and honestly it was pretty chill we were both pretty tired i was working game four of the alds because the royals were in it and i didn't get home till like midnight and then my flight was at you know 5 50 so i had to wake up at three so i literally got three hours of sleep and it was just a long day and your girl was tired so we got in came to where we were staying cleaned up because i always feel gross after being on a plane so i had to take a shower wash my face things like that and then we just went to old town scottsdale and we walked around some went in some shops did some shopping um, got some drinks at one of my favorite places i this is like a lesser known fun fact but i've lived in the phoenix area twice um, two different times because of Casey, my husband's work. He used to be a professional baseball player. He's a retired professional baseball player. And so we lived out here two different times for, oh, hello bird. Good morning. <laughs> two different times for baseball season. The first time we lived in Mesa and then the second time we lived in like the Scottsdale area. So I am familiar with this area, but it's been quite a few years. So it was like all coming back to me as I was there. One of my favorite places, it's called Burger Rehab or Rehab Burger, I forgot what it's called, but we went there for a beer. It's like a cute little kitschy, like beach vibe place. And we had a beer there, which was fun. Then we went to the mall, walked around some, and um, then we went and got dinner at the Montauk, which is another place that I really loved the first time I lived here. So. It's all coming back to me. If you like put me on the spot, I wouldn't remember any of it. But being here now, I will remember things as I see them. I'll be like, oh yeah, this place is really great. This place is really great. Um, so it's kind of coming back to me, but it's been a while. Anyway, it is bright and early this morning because we slept, we literally went to bed at 7.30 last night. Um, and part of that is because the time difference. So it was really, you know, a little bit later than that. But the other part of it was that we were just so exhausted. So we got a lot of sleep. We feel well rested and we are ready to go today. The first thing that is on our docket today is that we are gonna go on a hike. One of the things I love doing when I lived here is hiking. I hiked a new trail like every week that I was here and I loved that. I love being outside, I love nature and these are legit mountains, not just like little hills with paths on them. Like these are legit mountains, which is fun. <laughs> so there's a couple of hikes that I really like. The one that we're closest to is Camelback. So we'll probably do that one, either that one or Pistawa is another one that I really like and that we're not too far from. So that is gonna be the first thing on our docket, but we need to go get some water bottles because uh, we didn't bring any and you should not hike, especially a hike like Camelback without water bottles. So first up is hiking, then we're going to get some brunch and then we have a wedding to go to tonight. So I'm excited. Let's get it going. Listen, Jamie, follow the rules. You guys, our waters are full. We don't have to turn around.
are gonna go walk down the street and get some coffee at this little place that I remember when I lived here the first time. It's called Lola Coffee. And um, this isn't the location I remember. When I lived here, there was only one location, I think. But now they have a couple. So there's one down by us, so we're gonna go get some coffee. Okay, so we are at the Westin. We decided to get a day pass here so that we could just chill by the pool and 10 out of 10, great decision. It's hot here by our standards. It's 90, it's in the high 90s, but that's pretty cool here. It's been 100 plus for a bajillion days straight here. So it's quite lovely. And I spent some time in the sun and now I'm needing some shade. I brought a book. I'm actually currently reading the Sicilian Inheritance by Joe Piazza. I have had this on my TBR for a little bit and I finally saw it at the library and I was like, this will be the perfect uh, like relaxing getaway book. So I'm like 50 pages in, I haven't read that much of it yet, but so far um, it's giving good vibes. So today we are literally just chilling um, and soaking up the fun. This place has a huge pool, but then it also has like a lazy river it has a couple of water slides um, and things like that. So I do think we are gonna check out the water slides. And then this evening we are gonna go get dinner. We're kind of feeling Italian, so maybe we're gonna go get Italian, but we'll have to see. I'm just drinking water because I drank enough beer last night, honestly. And so I just need to cleanse the body. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. We're having such a good time. Okay, we're getting ready to go on the slide. Are you excited, Jamie? No. She's been talking about the slide since we got here. <laughs> you go first. Go on the yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. Paper. On shoot. Okay. Paper, rock, scissors. Paper, scissors. Rock, it's paper, scissors, rock. You're an idiot. Paper, scissors. <laughs> okay, let's go. Now you're a professional. <laughs> Tell the vlog what the best thing about being my friend is. <laughs> Packer game. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say Packer chicken. <laughs> True friendship. <laughs> Jamie and I lived together in college for two years. And we were random roommates. We had never, the first time I met you was the, when, the day I moved in. I thought she was so sweet. Worst day of my life. Literally, look at her now. I was like, what a nice girl. <laughs> Little did I know. She's just as sassy as I was. That's probably why we go on. Because we're both kind of sassy. We are back at our place where we're staying and oh my gosh, today was lovely, truly. We didn't do anything. All we did was sit by that pool for several hours. Um, I fell asleep, I read my book, we went on the water slides, we like messed around in the pool 
it was just fabulous. I don't remember the last time I've just had a day where I didn't really like do anything where I was just like hanging out for hours and hours and it was really lovely feeling honestly um, especially because I'm not a huge pool person like I don't have access to a pool a lot in my everyday regular life but I definitely got some sun you can see some of it like on the tips of my face there and then I didn't think of course I'm like oh I didn't get that much sun but then you get home like look at that line Woo! It was truly just what I needed. The rest of the evening is not much planned. We're gonna go get some dinner um, and then go to bed early because I have an early flight, so does Jamie. So we kind of need to get our stuff together and get going um, and get on home. But honestly, I'm ready to go back home. I miss my dogs um, and my cat and I'm just ready to be back. I feel like the best vacations are like that. You enjoy yourself while you're there, you have a good time. And then when it's time to go home, you're like, yep, here we go. Like, I'm ready to go back. That's definitely how I feel right now. But I really do love this area. Um, I've, Like I've said before, I've lived here two times and I lived in different parts of it. Like the, the valley, the Sun Valley it's called, but the valley is huge and it, you know has a lot of different personality from one part to the next to the next to the next and so I've forgotten like I've forgotten about it until I you know was here and noticing the places I used to go to and the things I remembered and the nature being by the mountains and um, I always love being by the mountains or, or the ocean like I love nature love being in nature so stuff like that is really cool I do think I could probably live here I don't <laughs> I say that but I don't know in the summer it might be a bit tough it was a hundred like every day we were here but it really wasn't that bad like it really was just a dry heat like that's so cliche to say that but it's true it's not like the sticky humidity of the Midwest so it's just different but um, I really have liked it here and I love me a cacti I just I love palm trees I love cactuses like I think I could live here I felt that way too though in July when I went to Colorado. I was like, I could totally live here. Um, but I say that like not during the middle of winter because I know they get dumped on so much snow. Um, so that might not be the best, but I'm always like everywhere I go, I'm like, oh, I could live here. I don't know if that's good or bad that I could just like picture myself easily picking up my life and like plopping it down somewhere else. <laughs> like, is that good or bad? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's been a really great trip a really great day I didn't even tell you guys really about the wedding last night the wedding was so fun um, it wasn't huge there was probably like no more than a hundred people there and um, I thought that size was great truly it was like enough people that the dance floor and the vibes were bumping but not too many that it's like overwhelming the other thing I will say is that my food was really good um, I'm got the vegetarian dish because I really choose not to eat meat most of the time and a lot of times vegetarian dishes suck this vegetarian dish was really really good it was like some kind of squash steak and vegetables and like quinoa and potatoes carrots like it was really good um, so impressed impressed for sure the other thing is it was an open bar which was lovely we love that um, I only drink beer anyways, so it's not that big of a deal for me, but I know a lot of people like who are drinking mixed drinks like appreciate that Especially if you're gonna have a smaller wedding to like be able to have an open bar is really fun And the dance floor was just popping which is just always a good time. So We stayed out later than I normally do but that's not saying much because normally you guys know I'm in bed by 930 so <laughs> Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was really fun. I also have to say my purple dress that I wore, I will link down uh, below. It's from Amazon. I got a couple different ones to try and that was the one that I ended up liking the best and it was super comfortable. Um, it didn't wrinkle, which is good. I didn't want something that like I would have to put in my bag and then would get wrinkly once I got here. So really recommend, like I said, quick and easy on Amazon and I will link it down below for you guys. Okay, let's go to dinner.
you guys, we've been seeing these self-driving cars all around since we've been here and we're leaving tomorrow morning so we are trying one it's called whammo look at this you have to see this hello from whammo oh as we get God. going just give us one minute to cover a few riding tips this experience <sighs> may feel futuristic but the need to buckle up is the same as that car <laughs> this is so weird what happens if you touch the wheel? Oh, oh! <laughs> Don't touch it, Jamie! Oh my gosh, look at it turn! That is... Oh, is it making a Y turn? Oh my god. It does three point turns. That's insane. Oh my gosh! That was trippy. Sorry, easy on the brakes. Dock your stars. After being gone for like four days I've never been away this long from my dog since I rescued him and I'm so excited to see him I am gonna film his reaction Did you miss me? 